What's up guys, how's it going? Bringing you guys a game of conquest this time and some infantry conquest actually and I will be rolling with the engineer kit using the MP7 uh, this was actually the first game I ever got with it so see me going over there to select it and I got the MP44-3 tack with for my pistol my squad per perk is um, extra rockets so my buddy's running uh, squad suppression and my other buddy's running squad sprint. So it's like got all them perks and start off in the game and capture the E flag or the A flag. And um, I got various parts of this sped up because just to keep the gameplay down a little bit. Uh, it wasn't the longest game, but I thought I'd speed it up just to cut down on some render times. And using this gun right here, this is one of the guns that you get up in the co-op from doing the co-op is like RPG whatever that I don't even know what that thing is but uh, that thing takes a lot of rockets and I uh, hit it with the RPG RPG one time and uh, yeah this is one of the co-op guns I believe it's the third one you unlock and I don't really like it this was the first game I ever used it and uh, it's not very good <laughs> it just seems to have very low bullet damage and for only having 20 rounds in it uh, makes it a little disappointing. I don't know if you can get extended mags for it, so when you get extended mags for it, it'll be a lot better. Uh, the one good thing that I did notice about it, if you notice right there, it has really, really good hip fire. And uh, some of the guns suffer greatly when hip firing in this game, I notice. It's not like Bad Company 2 where you can hip fire for days and uh, with just about any gun. Right there, I get caught slipping. And a guy f takes me out, and I believe I get spawn back in at the uh, C flag over here as I noticed they were taking it and uh, running around this back way just uh, looking around for him and uh, see this guy I get him I get this guy I had to switch to my pistol and got the third guy but there was a fourth guy that I did not even notice unfortunately and they were able to capture the flag but we ended up getting it back and this game actually I believe we end up spawn trapping him for a portion of the game and uh, that's what's been happening and a lot of that actually has to do with three flag maps because on Caspian border and uh, Karg Island it doesn't happen as much and it seems like we're always fighting for the flag so I have no idea why they they put the three flags in here that's really my only complaint with this game so far is uh, some of the how they design some of the maps as far as uh, flag placement and stuff but uh, apparently they are addressing that and they're even going to start switching stuff around because apparently certain maps are broken I'm kind of curious to see what maps they tweak and uh, you know just I don't know I'm just kind of curious um, and <laughs> from what I understand that uh, the 32 player variant of PC is basically like playing on console just with an extra squad on each team, but the uh, maps are the same. They're set up in the same way, same set of, same set amount of flags and all that. Um, and it's it's pretty funny because uh, a lot of them are preferring the 32 version um, variant, just because I guess it's easier to run around. I guess the 64 64 player variant uh, doesn't really. The map seems to be a little bit too small. It almost seems like the um, 32 player variant and the 24 like console should have been the 64 player size maps because uh, those maps actually look like they would be good to play on 24 or 32 players depending on PC or console but with the five flags um, I don't know it just seems like it would be something to change up I hope maybe in the future they would add that add the five flag variants to the smaller game modes for us console players just so we can see what it's like because there's a parts of this map that I haven't even seen yet because um, it's not in the console version so hopefully maybe one day they'll add that and they are going to be tweaking some of the guns I know the SCAR and the A91 are getting nerfed and both of those guns are really good this gun needs a buff because it's terrible <laughs> and uh, especially if you can't get extended mags for it it's pretty much uh, next to worthless and uh, I don't even really recommend using it actually haven't touched this gun since 
because it's not the best of choice, so I'm kind of glad that I got a gameplay with it the first time I ever tried using it. But, um, you know, I didn't have the best of aim right there, so it took a little while to kill that guy, but still, it, it, you got to be so much on point with this gun, it's not even really worth it. Um, if you get caught slipping and you step to spray and pray, you, you're probably not going to win. Just because of only the 20 rounds, especially if you come across more than one enemy, you're going to be a little screwed there. And take out the LAV. And another thing, taking out vehicles, um, or also the uh, vehicles, the tanks and stuff, they're going to be buffing all that stuff. And uh, I think, I honestly think the vehicles are perfectly balanced in this game, except for the machine gun on the jets not killing infantry. Everything else is fine, and I'm kind of... I don't know. I have no problem absolutely dominating in in, in tanks. You just got to have uh, engineer to repair. Um, it's best to have both engineers just in case you get really low health and you can repair extra quick. But y y people are trying to lone wolf it with the tanks, and I think that's why they're not being successful with it. Same thing with the attack choppers. Uh, you can't lone wolf it in the attack choppers no more. You got to be coordinated in what... Uh, squad or what perks you're running and stuff and uh, I will be doing a chopper tutorial on both all on all the different choppers in the game but I have to <coughs> ooh, excuse me uh, finish unlocking all the attack chopper um, perks and, uh, well that LAV right there <laughs> and, uh, yeah but uh, to take out vehicles easier what you want to do is hit them in the back so if possible when you're using RPGs or even with the tank it, you, what you're going to want to do is try to hit them in the back. And even sometimes when you're hitting, say if you're in a tank battle with another tank and you're both firing head on, um, sometimes the side will be just sticking out just a little bit. And you kind of want to aim for the back corner of it. And uh, three shells with the tank will take it out if you hit them all in the back like that. And uh, it's pretty cool. But watch this right here. Ba blow Get that. <laughs> RPG blow up that little bird real quick and uh, that was pretty cool uh, that was not the first one I've got that was the second one I've got um, but the first one was a attack chopper and the second one was um, right there and then I got one actually a little while ago on another attack chopper and uh, but I don't know it's weird because uh, on this map I've tank sniped um, <laughs> the little birds from the uh, aircraft carrier and uh, I had to get a vehicle disabled and then fo get a follow-up shot and I actually ended up blowing it up which is uh, it's pretty cool I'm actually making a montage again and uh, I already got a lot of epic moments especially with the vehicles uh, and the little bird and stuff um, yeah I've gotten <laughs> I've gotten a, quite a few cool clips so far and uh, I'm just gonna try to make it is be or just try to get the best possible clips that I can and uh, you know not not rush it and take my time and uh, I got a couple more tank snipes tonight and uh, some other cool things <laughs> I also sniped a guy on this map who was driving on the boat and that was pretty cool got him with the headshot and uh, also I heard that they're gonna be buffing the bolt actions and I'm wonder what they're gonna do with that I wonder if they are going to um, make it so that it's like how they were in Bad Company 2 because if it was then uh, I'll actually be kinda happy because then I could play aggressively with the uh, bolt actions again like I did in Bad Company 2 and pull really big games because uh, I got really comfortable with that setup and uh, I just got really good with it I'm still getting used to the sniping in this game I just started using the recon class the past couple days and uh, the scopes are a little, I'm just trying to get used to the scopes. It felt a little bit different in uh, the beta, but that could have just been playing on Operation Metro. And uh, I don't know, I'm just, I just got to adjust myself to especially long range sniping. Because uh, it's a good thing to learn for when picking off people who like to snipe them way the hell out in, in the back of the map. And um, as far as it is right now, I haven't noticed too many uh, recon players at all. Uh, at least in Conquest and Rush, that's a whole different story, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes, and, um, I'm really enjoying this game, though, and <laughs> having a lot of fun. I got a, another Little Bird gameplay on this map, and, uh, actually, I absolutely dominate with it, so I'll be bringing that to you, to you guys. Uh, I'm still trying to learn the map, so I'm not trying to give out too many tips right now, but basically just, uh, play the fucking objective, and that's all you need to do, <laughs> and, uh, this game will be a whole lot more fun, so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I uh, went 18-2 uh, and two there, so.
Peace. Have a good one.